Hello, my beautiful people. My name is Nikki Novoselsky, and I am a traveling digital nomad and brain hacking mindset mentor who helps people live a fulfilling life. We are here in Flores in northern Guatemala, and we're going to take a look at what this little island has to offer. We're going to go to Tikal and see the ruins, so stick with me and see what we have in store. Ready? Let's go. So I made it to Flores after a 10 hour shuttle all the way from Samuk Champe. It was quite slow, a full day, but we are so happy to be in Flores. We're making it for sunset. I'm currently at the beautiful restaurant of Maracuya and I'm so excited to eat. And it's quite a beautiful lake, a little bit different than Lake Atitlan, but still beautiful. And my first impressions are that there's amazing restaurants. Everything's so cute and colorful. You know how I love a good cafe. So I'm super excited to dive into Flores and do the Tikal tour as well. So I have three nights here and two full days. So we're gonna dive into it together. Let's vamanos and hop onto it. Okay, y'all, we worked a little bit in the morning and now we're having a full solo travel adventure. I'm walking on some <laughs> rocky roads here. I took a little lancha, a little boat from Flores over to San Miguel, which is literally a three minute boat ride and it's 10 quetzales. And now we are taking a little walk to La Playita, the little beach. And from the little beach, we're gonna go to El Mirador, where you can see the full island of Flores, and I'm gonna go during sunset. So we're definitely having our little travel adventure. Oh, almost just slipped. Okay, we're gonna be careful. See you at the beach, okay? All right, traveling ain't always this easy breezy thing. I was told that the playa was here, the beach. Spanish of the day with Nikki, la playa is the beach. Vamos a la playa, let's go to the beach. And then I get to the beach and it's not a beach. And apparently the real beach is 30 minutes on the other side of this other little island. <sighs> so I just wanted to relax. Now we have to walk 30 more minutes. So we're gonna walk, we're gonna see El Mirador. And sometimes it's not always rainbows and butterflies. It's 30 more minutes of walking when you're already tired, you know? But we're gonna do it. We got this. We've been walking on a dirt trail and we finally see a sign that says Mirador, which is viewpoint with an arrow this way. So we're on the right path. I am a little hungry though. So let's hope that there's some little snacks I can get. And we're gonna continue forward. We're on a little dirt road, but look at this in nature. We go in. We made it to El Mirador, the viewpoint. And there was a guy here taking names and he told me that there's no food and there's no food near the beach. Your girl, tienes hambre, tengo hambre, I am hungry. So I think we're just gonna do El Mirador and then I'll probably take La Lancha, the boat back, I'm out of breath walking up these stairs, to Flores to get some dinner. So there is the beach here, I think it's called Chichimal. And that's the beach that you can swim at. And El Mirador is then a little dirt path that you can go look at the island of Flores. So I don't think I'll make it to the beach today, but we're gonna see El Mirador, the viewpoint. I'm literally the only one here, the only person in sight. Here we go. Here is El Mirador. And you can see the island of Flores. It's so cute. It's actually a really beautiful Mirador. The pictures are beautiful. I don't know if you can like really see it from this video, but I'm literally in like a tree house. <laughs> Epic! We love solo adventures. Sometimes it's an up and down journey, but then you get to the top and you're like, ah, amazing. We're a little hungry, but we're enjoying. Whee! This is such a serene spot and probably one of the best places I've journaled in a long time. So I highly recommend El Mirador. There's literally no one here. It's just me in the <laughs> Flores jungle. It feels like I'm hearing like monkey sounds. So it's so cool to be here. I highly recommend it. It's just a little boat ride over. You might feel like where the heck am I going? But if you have a little buddy, it's also fun. If you're solo, also amazing. If you're wanting to learn how to live this freedom lifestyle where I get to literally be at El Mirador looking at this island 
Linda Flores on a Thursday afternoon. I have a program called the Freedom Fast Track Program and a membership where you can take a look at it to learn all of the tools, all of the hacks to get to live a life full of freedom where you're financially free, you're free from negative thoughts, and you're just living your most fulfilled life. So if you're interested in that, take a look at the description and let's work together to get you there because it is possible. I've done it myself and I've helped many clients get there too. So I want to help you as well. Take a look at the description and let's keep going on an adventure together. I'm gonna head back but look at the sunset on this town of Flores. 10Q for the lancha back so overall 20Q and then 5Q donation to get up to El Mirador. 25Q to see Flores Island from El Mirador. A lovely afternoon. So gonna head back and enjoy the evening because I'm gonna go to Tikal tomorrow. Okay, we are here in Tikal. It took an hour and 20 minutes from Flores in a shuttle to Tikal and the tour itself is 180 quetzales and then that includes the shuttle but then you have to pay an entrance fee of 150 if you're a foreigner and if you want to do the sunset or sunrise tour it's an additional 100 quetzales. In total, it's 250 quetzales plus 180 quetzales, which equals 430 quetzales in total to see the lovely Tikal. Now, I'm doing the sunset tour, but I've heard many, many people say that they've done the 4.30 a.m. tour where you don't have to pay the additional 100 quetzales. I did not want to wake up at 4.30 and I heard that the sunset tour is cool. So we, there's many different tours you can take. It just depends on what time you want to be here. It's actually quite breezy and nice and we're not totally in the sun. So we left around 12 to get here and we're going to be here for sunset. So a lot of time here exploring the Mayan ruins. Whenever I'm in places like this, my mind is just blown by how something like this was created. The tour guide does a really good job of explaining what these Mayan cities are and how basically it was to get closer to God. The highest class was here to pray to the gods and they often did human sacrifices, but he said that the human sacrifices, it was an honor to be sacrificed to the gods. The guide also talked about how Tikal was found because someone wanted to make chewing gum and they were looking for the tree that had that zap and then they stumbled upon Tikal because they knew that the tree was around here. So that is really freaking crazy and then it's almost like the forgotten city of people just abandoned this place and then refound it later. It's so crazy to think about stuff like this. This is all made of limestone and that's why it's been preserved for this long which is really freaking cool. I can't believe this. Whenever I'm in things like this it just blows my mind. The one thing I will say is bring snacks. We were a little bit rushed to eat so I had just like a small chicken sandwich for 25 quetzales but I was like still hungry for something thing and bring some water as well there's not tons and tons and tons of stuff to buy here yet so we do stop at a restaurant beforehand so I would say bring your own snacks if you can and maybe eat before a little bit too helpful hint <laughs> meditative moment in a really cool place. Okay. A little breath, a little gratitude together. I love doing that in places like this. this fashion I'm gonna do a little ceremony here at Tikal look how beautiful this is with the background it's like a green screen but it's real I'm gonna take these little flowers I'm just gonna meditate and call in what I'm looking for in the next chapter <laughs> you know me and my little ceremonies now I feel like I'm the hippie from San Marcos who's making every moment a grateful moment which if you're wanting more fulfillment in your life definitely check out the freedom fast track membership in the description below but we're gonna take a little mindfulness moment here together 
and think about what it is that you're wanting to call into the next chapter. Maybe it is coming to Tikal. <laughs> There's actually two ways you can get to Tikal. You can fly to Guatemala City and then take a flight to Flores, or you can take the shuttle, which is what I did, which is about 10 hours from Samuk Champe, or you can take a shuttle all the way from Guatemala City to Flores in order to get to Tikal. So flight or shuttle, either way. I had a friend who did the shuttle from Guatemala City to Flores and said it was totally fine, but then you kind of skip Samuk Champe, and I love Samuk Champe. So, I would say do the shuttle from either the lake or Antigua or the city to Samuk Champe and Samuk Champe to Flores. It's not like the most fun ride ever, but at least you get here and you get to see these rooms. walked up a bunch of steps to get this view, which apparently is where they filmed the fourth or the first Star Wars movie. So pretty epic. This view is incredible. It's really beautiful to go at this time. I'm really happy I'm doing the sunset tour, but I've heard really good things about the sunrise tour. This is where you would come up if you're coming up for the sunrise tour because you get a full view if there's no clouds. So so far, Chical has been epic. It's been really, really wonderful, really lovely. I mean, it's definitely been a guided tour. Like, I definitely feel like I'm getting a lot of information. And so just kind of be prepared for a full day of listening to the info, wandering around by yourself. There's not really food or water inside the park. I did find a guy selling water right before this, which was incredible for 10 kids Alice. We're very grateful. But bring your food, bring your water, and just enjoy this full day of this tour. So... We're gonna go to sunset now and then end our day in Tikal and Flores and tomorrow we're going to Belize. So it's been incredible to be here in Guatemala. I can't believe I've been here for eight months. So if you want to visit Guatemala, definitely subscribe to this channel. There's more Guatemala videos coming and more travel videos coming as well. quite epic the sun was going down there's a full moon and then you see all of Tikal in between so I'm incredible the energy was fabulous and now I'm heading back to Flores and then I'm going to make my way on to Belize so thank you so much for joining me here in my Tikal tour I hope it gave you lots of good insights of what Tikal will be if you want to come visit definitely start to plan your trip and I hope you like this video if you want more travel tips and adventures give me a follow and a subscribe and like this video and I hope to see you on my channel again soon. Much love! Bye!